عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله ما بعد فإن صدق الحديث كتاب الله خير الهدي هدي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار We spoke about one of the major sins last week and we continue which is a zina الادلتري عند الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد ابوت الزنا ولا تقربوا الزنا نو كان فاحشة وساء سبيلا دونت ابروتش زنا دونت كوم كلوز تو الزنا انه هو كان فاحشة فاحشة سمثينج يعني فيري باد فاحشة ذات اني ون يعني هيرز ابوت ات او نوز ابوت ات هي ويل يعني ات از لايك ديسكاستينج ثينج طيب ايفن ذا نورمال بيبل ذا نيتشر دوزنت اكسبت ذات So anyone goes with the zina, this is something abnormal with any religion, subhanAllah. And we mentioned how was the situation in the, in the Jazeera al-Arab, I mean the Arab Peninsula. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala mentioned the four types of nikah. Or oh, sorry, it is not nikah, you know, it is zina. Except one of them, like what we are doing now. طيب. Uh, there is an important point which is that Yeah, we spoke about this, but I like to emphasize that the Prophet وسلم, mentioned the hadith types of zina, types of adultery. But mainly when we speak about zina, don't approach zina, and there is a punishment for zina, we mean the adultery like to have the relationship like the husband wife. We mean that. Okay, the punishment like stoning or hundred lashes for the zina, I mean the adultery like the relation, it is the relationship. Not uh, other things, because you know, subhanAllah, sometimes people say, Shaykh, I did this with this man, I, so as if they, she did the zina or he did the zina, but they did not do the zina, I mean the re real relationship, but they did something like the introduction of zina. No doubt, it is haram, okay? But we should be clear about that. Okay, and even uh, there is a hadith, the, yeah, in the hadith, when the man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, he يعني, uh, admit and convince about uh, in, in, in front of the Prophet ﷺ. So the Prophet ﷺ checked with him and he mentioned the word. He mentioned the word. Okay, why? To, because he wants to make sure. يعني, I remember one of the sites, okay, subhanAllah, it was an uh, Arabic site. I think from Egypt or something. But it was not a Muslim site. It was not a Muslim website. So they accused the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu He said, yani, look, the Prophet, uh, this man Muhammad, he used rude words. How come he is using the Astaghfirullah yani, Al-Azim? The Prophet Sallallahu is the judge. He is the, the ruler. Okay? So before doing the punishment, you know, it, it is to kill this, this person. Stoning. So the judge should make sure what he did exactly. You know, because sometimes we say something, but the judge understands something different. Some, sometimes I exaggerate and it is less, or the opposite. So as a judge, you have to make it clear. The, we will not accept something metaphoric. No, it should be clear. So subhanAllah, but these people try to accuse Islam, to attack Islam from anything. And the problem, some of the Muslims listen to them. Uh, we mention also يعني, uh, what are the things can lead to zina because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said don't approach zina okay what are the things which bring people to zina and our Islam made these things haram and forbidden things okay number one another muharram okay okay the number one another muharram Seeing the, the, the wrong things. Okay, not lower, lowering the gaze. The Prophet Allah subhanahu wa said, قُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ غُضُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَأَحْفَظُوا فُرُجَهُمْ Tell the believers to lower the gaze. Okay, don't look at the woman. Okay, because looking at the woman will lead to zina. Number two, الخلوة. وَزِمِ الخلوة Being alone with a woman, non-mahram. Being alone in a place people cannot see you. Okay, inside an office and you close the door. 
Okay, so this is the second because the Prophet said, "La illa Any man stays or يعني, stays with a woman alone, the shaitan will be the third. Number three, الدخول على النساء. The Prophet said, "إياكم الدخول على النساء." Be aware of entering on women. Okay, and some scholars say it means that, that you go to a house and there is a woman alone. You are not mahram. A man asked the Prophet ﷺ after saying this statement, Ya Rasulullah, ara'ayt al-hamu? Oh Rasulullah, what about al-hamu? Wasn't you al-hamu? My, bro- yani, uh, my brother. Okay, is it allowed for my brother to enter the, the house and my wife is there alone? Or the relatives of the husband? Because, subhanAllah, this is common in many places. Yani, I will not say common, but it is there. It is there that some people, السلام, some people, okay, accept that the brother to stay with his wife. Yalla, you drop my wife, you pick up my wife, you, you, you go together, take my wife because I am busy, so take my wife to the hospital. I'm not in the country, you take care of the house. This is very dangerous. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Alhamu al-Maut. Alham al-Maut. Alhamu, what's mean Alhamu? The brother of the husband. Or the relatives of the husband. They are death. Okay, what does it mean they, they are death? It means they can lead to a serious problem. It doesn't mean that he is your brother, you trust him. This is it. You remember we mentioned the, last week the hadith. The man who was very sick, but subhanAllah, when he saw the woman, he did the fahisha with this woman. He did the zina, the adultery with this woman. So we should be careful. And uh, yani, why it is more dangerous? Because subhanAllah, they live, you know, some, sometimes there is one house. The father, his children, and every son with his wife. صح? And they sit together. They chat together. And maybe... Without hijab. And this is wrong practice. This is wrong practice. Sisters, when you live with your uh, family, I mean uh, your husband's family, okay, you have to take the rules of hijab with his brother, with his uncle. If they are the family of your husband, doesn't mean there is no hijab. Hijab is compulsory. The brother of your husband is like this strange man outside. But some women, okay, outside, mashallah, full hijab, niqab, everything. But inside the house, okay, maybe they're taking the dinner together. The husband and the, his brother, the, uh, his uh, nephew. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. And also, these brothers, you should help your wife. Because sometimes the problem from the husband... Okay, how? His wife, mashallah, she is hijabi, she is niqabi. But they use in the big house, they used to take, to have the lunch together, the dinner together. Or let's say maybe the lunch, the dinner, it's up to you. So the husband forces his wife, no, you have to come down and to have the dinner, uh, the, the, the lunch together. She said, no, I am hijabi, I am niqabi, your brother is there, your... Sometimes the people complain. I mean, some of the sisters. Not I sit alone. I'm taking my lunch alone. And my husband is every day is having his, uh, uh, yani, uh, is taking the, the lunch with his family. And I am alone. If he's not forcing his wife, okay, he's leaving his wife. Khalas, you stay alone, I go down. If you don't want to have the, the lunch together, okay, everywhere, everyone is there. Okay, I have three, four brothers. All of them, their wives come down. Why you are not coming down? You are right and everyone is wrong? So please, brothers, help your wife. If she is trying to practice Islam, you have to, you have to support your wife. She wants to practice the hijab, she wants to attend lectures, she wants to memorize Quran. You help, you help your, your wife. And also we tell the wife the same thing for, with your husband. طيب. So, الدخول على النساء. Number four, التبرج والسفور. 
This is subhanAllah, very dangerous. When women leave the house without hijab, with perfume, with makeup, full makeup or half makeup or little makeup. Okay, the same, haram. All of that haram, yani because you know, maybe sometimes this, uh, some sisters say, uh, it is a little bit eyeliner, no problem. There is, uh, yani it is only one line, like why? Why? Why you put something for your eye? People. Okay, so please, when you leave your house, you leave with full hijab. tafilat. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, okay, it doesn't mean dirty, but it means, okay, without any kind of uh, 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 making yourself beautiful for, for people outside. Khalas, you leave the house for the need. You have a job, you go for shopping, you go to visit your parents, you refer, okay, turn to halqa, you pray in the masjid, it's okay. But with makeup, full, half, little, your makeup should be for your husband, okay, at home, you have sisters, okay, or uh, uh, friends to, uh, gathering, this is okay, this is okay. Or you, if, if you are leaving the house with makeup, you have to cover that, you have to cover. But Sheikh, I'm not niqabi, okay, if you are not niqabi, don't put makeup, if you put makeup, you have to cover, you have to cover. Even if we say covering the face, is not wajib, but now it is wajib because you have pick makeup. Okay, so going outside for the women. Okay, this is one of the things. I mean, with makeup, with with uh, perfume, or without hijab. Okay, this is also one of the main things can lead to zina wal iyad bil adultery. Or not not only the subhanallah, not only makeup or uh, perfume. Allah subhanahu wa taala said. وَلَا يَضْرِبْنَ بِأَرْجُلِهِنَّ لِيُعْلَمَ مَا يُخْفِينَ مِنْ زِينَتِهِمْ يعني even if you are with hijab okay Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَلَا يَضْرِبْ don't step in a, a way okay in a strong way to show what you hide what you conceal from your uh, يعني, uh, beauty your jewelry you know uh, some women they put something on their uh, ankles Ankle, Anklets. Anklets. Okay. So how can people know that there is something in the leg? The sound. The sound. So she will walk in a, a way طيب, to show people that I am here. I have something. I have gold. طيب. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wala yadrib. So now she is with full hijab. She is covered from top to bottom. But she is trying to... to, to uh, Make people to pay attention. I am here. I have something. This is not allowed. Haram. Not only that. Also, also khudu' bil qawl. You know, there is a common saying, but this is not uh, correct. They say, the voice of women is awra. Okay? It is not a hadith. It is not a hadith. Okay? But... And also, it is not يعني, it is not haram for the woman to speak. Okay, she can go outside and maybe she is in the jam'iyyah, I mean uh, the supermarket. She likes to buy some. How much for this? Well, I two dinar. No, please, can you make it one and a half? This is allowed if she is speaking direct way, normal voice. But it is not allowed if she is trying to make her voice soft. This is called So not the voice of women is haram Aisha radiallahu was giving fatwa صح? They come to Aisha they, She gives the fatwa okay, No problem with that But the problem if they are making The voice uh, يعني Soft What is the point? That to attract men They have to give chance for the shaitan So this is number four. Number number five also. Safar al-mar'a dun mahram. Traveling, traveling, traveling without a mahram. The woman. Okay. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Wala tusafir mar'a illa ma'adi mahram." And the woman should not travel without a mahram. Okay. I know there is different opinions there. 
many many opinions or more than one opinions but no doubt to be safe you stick to the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said women should not travel without mahram that's it خلاص okay this is not to make life difficult for the women this is to protect the community not only women this is to protect the community i am not talking about the exceptions we are taking this as a general rule as a general rule we tell the wife or the, sorry the woman don't travel but for study i want to study medical medicine i want to be this or that so i need to travel there okay yeah and what is the need to travel there study here study online or maybe you wait uh, you get married or a father or a brother then you travel but traveling alone the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said she should not travel without mahram and when a man was registered in the army of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then the man said ya rasulullah my wife is going to hajj okay this man one man was registered where in the ministry of defense okay he was registered in the army of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the ghazwa for the battles so this man said oh rasulullah my wife went to hajj she's going to hajj the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said go with your wife he is a soldier he is doing jihad but no it is not allowed you leave your wife alone traveling without mahram طيب uh, number 6 uh, go leaving the house without need يعني basically to pro- Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said waqarra fi buyutikum stay at home طيب but of course this doesn't mean it's not allowed for the woman to leave the house but basically the general rule is to stay at home for the woman okay if she has a job she goes to the job and she comes home there she likes to pray in maghrib for example in the masjid okay she can go to pray in maghrib or in ramadan taraweeh she prays in eid this is allowed there is a lecture she goes to the lecture come okay she wants to visit the the, the parents or a, a sick this is allowed but what is happening nowadays subhanallah yani some some of the sisters okay every day in one coffee in a restaurant and at this here or there from one mall to another mall and marketing for the coffee shops and this is not islamic way this is not islamic way that and why you are marketing for that you are going here and there and also the the other women like to follow you go to that shop try the coffee go to that restaurant try the shrimp go there the steak is very nice subhanallah this is our job as a muslim umma the muslim umma needs the woman to learn the deen to spread the fadila the uh, yani being clean pure women pure community but going here and there wasting time wasting money and also this one of the things can lead to wal'iyad billah the zina the adultery okay so we say yani you know sometimes the women say it's, it is strange today i'm at home some sisters they feel this is strange why because i'm at home that's why subhanallah you remember two years back corona some people were like the breast why because this is strange we are sitting at home alhamdulillah and yani always i'm telling you especially the kuwaiti people here and those who work in government say alhamdulillah you are sitting at home and the salary is coming to you شنو هذا بعد؟ سي الحمد لله. For many people who are working the private or they are working outside or who lives who live outside they don't have salary. They want to leave the house to work to get the food. We are الحمد لله sitting at home and you remember they stop the aqsad for six months. Okay? يعني I think this is for all, huh? For Kuwait and non Kuwaitis or only Kuwait is the first time? Huh? Uh, this one what? The, the Aqsad, the uh, installments. The first time I think for all. Six months. So? Six months. Sit at home, please, please sit at home. But some of them trying their best to leave the house. Yeah. Medical check. Huh? Uh, to the uh, jamia going to uh, for, for shopping they cheat 
They cheat, then they go here and there. Astaghfirullah al -Azim. Number seven, uh, delaying marriage. To delay the marriage. This is mushkila, wallah. This is mushkila. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ya ma'shar al-shabaab, man istata'a minkum al-ba'a fal yatazawaj. Oh youth, if you can, okay, you have the ability, you can afford the marriage, do it. Alhamdulillah, you have salary, or you have money, you have your business, or your father can help you, and you are healthy, do it. Why you wait? So one of the problems, or one of the things can lead to zina, the adultery, to delay marriage. Because what is the meaning you delay marriage? Khalas, from at the age of 14 or 15, you are adult. She is adult, you are adult as a man, and she is as a woman. Okay, what is the meaning the puberty? Khalas, there is the desire. Okay, so they need marriage, especially nowadays. You can watch everything here. You see the, or you go outside. Subhanallah. Even, even sometimes you are in the supermarket, you are in the malls, you try to lower your gaze. Also, the beauty down. Okay, she is beautifying herself from top to bottom. Okay, subhanallah. So marriage is very important, brothers and sisters. Marriage is very important. This is the sunnah of all the messengers. وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّ As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. And we, we give them azwajan, wives and durriya, children. So this is the normal, this is the nature. Because, because subhanallah, يعني, what is happening? Okay, or why now you notice many boys delaying, many brothers delaying the marriage? Okay, for some of them not because of the money. They can and they have. But... They enjoyed, they enjoyed the haram, or they enjoyed the life without responsibilities. So now, I'm at the, my age is 28, or my age 30, 32. You tell me, Allah, we, we find a wife for you, and you put me inside the house, fighting with my wife. If I want to leave the house, I have to take permission. If I want to travel with my friends, I have to take permission. Or one time with my friends, one time with my wife, you know that. Oh, let me alone to enjoy my life. So marriage, happy, huh? Inshallah. You came to this point. No, marriage is very important. Marriage is very important. And, and also there is another point. Uh, we should not make marriage difficult. We should not make the marriage difficult. Tayyip, I know your side. What is the problem? If you have daughters. Sah? Sah, Shakil? If you have daughter, mushkila. She has to pay mahar, or, or not the mahar, maybe the mahar when 100 dinar. But the wife and the family of the wife, to pay how much? Everything. Everything. Wallahi, mushkila. Mushkila, يعني, you, now you make the, 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 the marriage very difficult, not only difficult, very difficult. And even for poor, صح? also the poor people, they are practic practicing that. They are taking loans. Why? Preparing for the marriage. If you have a daughter or daughters, مشكلة. Okay, you have to collect a lot of money to pay to the husband. Mashallah, prince, this husband. Okay? And maybe after one month, two months, he is caving here and there. Subhanallah. And she is pregnant, struggling with the new baby. Where is this husband? Here, there. Mushkila. So this is very important, brothers and sisters. Try your best to make the marriage easy. This is not only for you. This is not only for your daughter or your son. This is for the, the Muslim Ummah, Wallahi. To protect, because what is the meaning that if you have a house? If you have a family, then you calm down. You have يعني, sakina. You know tranquility, peace. Okay, no doubt يعني, there is something happens between the husband and wife. You know, normal. Normal. But I mean as a general concept. When you have a wife, you have a husband, you have children, you have family of your husband, family of your wife. Subhanallah. 
Then you, you grow your children, your children now adults. Also you try to marry them. This is normal. But without marriage, subhanAllah, a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Okay, so delaying the marriage also, this is one of the things can lead to Wal'iyad Billah Zina. Because, you know, some people think in, in a wrong way. They think in a wrong way. How? They say, Sheikh, why should I marry? Marriage, I need to pay, for example, 2,000 dinar, 3,000 dinar. Then every month I have to pay this much of money. I pay the rent, I pay this and this. So I need maybe every month 400 KD. Why should I pay this much of money? I do it in the haram way, much cheaper. Much cheaper. How much for the wrong way? Maybe 10 KD, 20 KD, or even you can travel outside. Subhanallah. Why it is cheap? Because it is wrong. The pure thing is expensive. Sah? The pure, the hidden is expensive. But the one which is exposed, what do you like? Now, if, now, if you like to eat food, or, or not, not food, food or anything, okay? You go, for example, to Al-Ghanim, excited Al-Ghanim, you like to buy something, you, mic, you like to buy mic, or you like to buy mobile, okay? If you, agree, if you come to this, oh, I like to take this mobile, he will give you, okay, yalla, take this. What you will, immediately, what you are going to tell him? Huh? No. no, I want one from the box, new one. New one for the box, yeah. Immediately you tell him, sah? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because everyone touched okay. this mobile. Sah? You will not take this. Sah. So this is the marriage. Okay, this is the, why fornication or adultery is cheaper? Because something dirty. What is dirty, what is exposed, no doubt it is cheaper. Why marriage is expensive? Because something hidden. Something pure. Subhanallah. Okay, so this is from the shaitan. Some people say, no, this is expensive. Expensive because it is origin, genuine, mashallah. This is only for you, not for everyone. And, yeah, subhanallah, yeah, I, some, I remember one book about this issue. Yeah, maybe 700 pages talk about this issue. Delaying the marriage and yeah, the things related to this issue. Not the rules of marriage about this issue, subhanAllah. Very important, very important. And subhanAllah, now if you notice the life makes us busy, why? Okay, or, or yani, to delay the marriage. Because now, do you know anyone married before finishing the high school? No. I don't know anyone. Maybe you can find here, but it will be very rare. Okay, and if you find someone like that, please bring him. We make an interview with him. Sah? Yeah. So, this is strange. And also, if one, if any one of us tries to do that with his son, okay, yeah, for example, my son, 16 years old, 15 years old, and yalla, I'm, well, I, brothers, I'm looking at a wife for my, my son. Everyone will accuse me. No one will agree with me. Why? Because this is strange. Why it is strange? Why it is strange? Why it is strange? Khalas, he's an adult. He's a man like me. Khalas, what I have also he has. What I need also he needs. Why it is strange? Because of the movies, because of the media, because what we got from the kuffar. We believe these things are strange. This is normal. Subhanallah. This is the nature. This is the sunnah. But because of now, we are put in cups, khalas, we are following what we are taught. You have to finish your school. After you finish the school, college. After college, then finding a job, then you can marry. Who said that? Is it Quran? Is it Quran, Sunnah? Number eight. Okay, well, of course, this is very dangerous. Okay, the media. I'm talking about the points which lead to zina, adultery, the media. The media. Halal dating. How uh, after, before marriage they have something called engagement. Khutba. And in, in after no, it's a, just like we we both are supposed to get married. Khalas, mm. they give the ring. There's no nikah or anything. 
But after that, you can do anything. Go out, do this. After ijab kabul or before ijab kabul? Before kabul. No. And for one year, for two so years. So he's a stranger. It's a halal dating. You know, they go out and they meet. Uh, yes, I know. Some, some communities. Huh? Khutbah. You mean khutbah? You mean khutbah? No, no, no. It is just that. Habibi, ijab kabul there with the father of the no, girl? No, so no, this no. is khutbah, this is called khutbah. Engagement. Okay. Engagement. Okay. Yes, I know this, this is wallah, is in some communities, common. That after the khutbah, okay, what is, okay, what is the khutbah? Khutbah is a promise. Promise. For marriage. Okay. Yeah, that one. Yani, I booked your daughter. Your daughter for me, but till now there is no marriage, there is no dowry, there is no hijab kabul. Okay, sometimes yes, it is one year, two years until he finishes the college or okay, his contract. Of course, during this stage, she is not bahram, he is not a husband. So, yes, some people they halas, every weekend they go to the restaurant and I visit her family, she visits my family. No, this is not, of course, it's not allowed or taking the hand, of course, it's not allowed. And some people, they have a shaitanic thinking. They say, no, this is very important. I need to know my spouse. You cannot know. Should many cases happen where the girl got pregnant and the boy doesn't want to marry it and now she is left like that? Many cases. Mushkila. Mushkila. Shuf, yani, the studies, when, when you check with people who do the studies, Okay, we'll go to one point. Uh, the marriage should be because of love, after love, because this is subhanAllah a problem. Many brothers, many sisters, no, no, how can I marry someone? I don't know him. I don't love him. I should know him. I should love him, then marriage. So they tell you, according to the studies, they did the studies here, I think, in the Ministry of Justice, Wizard al Adil, that the divorce be, be after. The love marriage more than the traditional marriage. What does it mean traditional marriage? I tell my mother, for example, please find a girl for me. Or I tell my sister. So my, maybe my sister in the college, she told me, well, I, there is one sister, she is practicing. Okay, this, 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 this. Okay. We are okay. Halas. My mother will speak to her mother. Okay, we agree. And one day, then I go there to see this girl. So after seeing this girl, if I am okay, she is okay, then I go to the father. How's this traditional? No need to chat together, messaging, chatting, no need for that. Okay, I go in the, in the proposal meeting, for, or sorry, the engagement meeting, the khutbah. Okay, if I have some questions, I ask, she has some questions. She, she, and also I have the right to see this woman, and also she has the right to see me. That's it, khalas. If we are both okay, we go step forward, which is al-aqd, ijab kabul, contract. If you are not okay, khalas. Okay? Is it okay? Tayyip? Wait, Salman Shah. So number eight, the media, the channels. Now, before, yani, we were talking only only about the channels, this channel, the other channel, this TV. But now, mushkila, halas. Who's watching the TV? It is here. Subhanallah, this is a big problem. If you misuse it, you need to control that. You need to control that, and don't give the chance. Don't give any chance for the shaitan. Because sometimes the shaitan... Okay, try to see this. So, if the shaitan catches you, khalas. From one video to another video, khalas. Wasting your time, wasting your iman. Shkila. And I think we mentioned the story of... The, uh, Ibn Qayyim mentioned that story. Rahimahullah. The story of the Mu'addin. He was Mu'addin and he ended with... Kufr. Wal'ayyad billah. He was giving Adan, you know, before, before the mics and before the electricity, they go up, they climb the masjid to give the Adan. Okay, and many houses without roof. So he was giving the Adan, subhanAllah, he saw a woman next to the masjid. 
خلاص he finished the adhan immediately or maybe after the salah he went there I saw you I want to marry you she said no this is not accepted why she was Christian and he is Muslim طيب he said okay it's okay to uh, I think he said يعني, it's okay in Islam to have a Christian she said no I will not accept so he converted to Christianity and he married her and one day he was sleeping in one place he fell down he died subhanallah because of what because of nadra he looked at that woman subhanallah he did not speak he did, only he looked at that woman subhanallah so don't trust yourself be careful be careful you should be very sensitive with the media try to avoid خلاص Uh, number number nine, الاختلاط. free mixing, مشكلة. nowadays والله مشكلة. okay and when you speak about this, they say immediately, no the masjid of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم, look the haram men and women. سبحان الله. طيب يعني you are talking about for example a school. Free mixing the school, boys, girls together. They chat together, they play sport together. No hijab. And they travel together. If there is a trip, they travel together in the summer. Okay, when you tell them this is wrong, immediately, no, but in the masjid. Habib in the masjid with the hijab, they are doing tawaf. But in the school, they live together. They meet in the school more than their family and not at home. يعني سبحان الله ذا ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم سيد خير صفوف الرجال أولها وشرها آخرها وخير صفوف النساء آخرها وشرها أولها the best rows for men first the worst last for women opposite opposite okay why يعني some scholars say because The Prophet Sallallahu said that because there, w- there was no barrier between them. So if you pray in the first line, Alhamdulillah, you, when you do the ruku' in the sujood, you cannot see the woman. But imagine if you are the last line. I'm the last line. And just two meters behind me, women. Okay? So m- maybe if the woman cuffs, ah, she's a young woman. Okay? When I do ruku', I try to see. And the same thing for the woman. She's trying, who is this, the last one? Wallahi. Nice boy, wallahi. Okay. So, subhanAllah, even the salah. This is in the salah. And also, the, later, he, they, they made this door for women. The Prophet Sallallahu said, leave this door for the woman. Khalas. So, what we understand from that, we understand that if there is a chance to separate, do it. Do it. But if it is difficult, خلاص. يعني immediately when you speak about free mixing, they say, okay, what do you do in the market? What do you do in the jam'i? Okay, this, يعني, you know, some places it is very difficult or almost impossible. خلاص. And also when I go into the market, I go with my wife, I buy and I leave. But why you do this in the university? You know, subhanAllah, in the college, you, يعني here in Kuwait, it was a big debate. In Kuwait, okay? No, 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 no. You should not separate the boys from the girls. And they, you, are you accusing our children? Huh? We are not accusing, but this is like prevention medicine. We try to prevent the problem before happening. You want us to wait? We wait until we see problems. Then we try to treat. No doubt, to prevent is much easier than. The treatment. Subhanallah. Yani, wallahi, some people, I remember, yani, their mentality, very evil mentality. They are devils. Okay, yani, alhamdulillah, I think you saw now, yeah, for example, Kuwait University, mashallah, and Shdadiyya. <laughs> Did you see the, the Shdadiyya? Okay, and the sixth ring road, big university. Okay, what is the problem? Make this hall for the boys, this hall for the girls. What's the problem? Alhamdulillah. Very as simple as that. But subhanAllah, they want, they want that 
mix. Even if there is a chance to separate, they want no. You have to mix them. Subhanallah. Like some people say, he in Kuwait, or not some people, very few people. Okay, why uh, wine is not allowed in Kuwait? Let the wine here allowed in Kuwait. Why? Because if you if it is now forbidden, so our children they travel outside to drink. So let them drink here. Subhanallah, this is the mentality. This is the mentality, subhanallah. Wallahi, some people, they are anti-Islam. They are anti-Islam. And يعني, uh, one of the sisters, alhamdulillah, she uh, يعني, accepted Islam. She said, for maybe four months or for one or two years, she was trying, she was tell, telling her kafil, okay, please, I want to be a Muslim. She said, no, 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 you cannot be a Muslim. You are Catholic. No, no, it is not, it is not allowed for, for you to be. So, Allah, I think she's saying to you, I want to be Muslim. I'm ready for Islam. She did not tell her, explain me Islam. I am ready for Islam. I am convinced, convinced. Islam is true religion. Is the true religion. I want to say shahada. Yalla. Tell me, please take. No, 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 no. Khalas, you are Catholic. Can you imagine? Yes, she's Kuwaiti. The kafila, she's Kuwaiti. Muslim name. Subhanallah. But she said, this lady who accepted Islam, she said, but I never, I do not see my kafila praying at all. She's not praying. Allah Yahdi, may Allah guide them. I said maybe this made, yani <laughs> gives da'wah for this Muslim name. Maybe. Subhanallah. Allah Yahdi. So some people, they are anti Islam. Anti Islam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَهُمْ يَنْهَوْنَ عَنْ وَيَنْأَوْنَ عَنْ They avoid Islam and also they keep you away from Islam. Don't be Muslim. So, so free mixing is dangerous, wallahi, dangerous. Okay? And, and you know, some, sometimes we think that they are young. Sometimes this happens where? In our families. Okay? I am now, I am not a father. I am a grandfather. Okay? I am a grandfather. I am 50 years old. I am 60 years old. So every week people come to me or in the Eid. Okay, so we are sitting together, the men and the women sitting together, my sisters, okay, my brothers, why sitting together, but our children, they are adults, 10 years old, 12 years old, where are our children? No, they are sitting together in one room, all of them, boys and girls, this is mushkilatara, this is also a problem, we should take care. Remember, what, as I told you, what you have also he has, your son. What, he is think, what you are thinking, he is thinking. But you have something to do with in halal way, but he doesn't have the halal. You have your wife, but he doesn't have. And astaghfirullah, yani, we don't like to speak about the problems happen in the mahram. A boy with his sister, or with his with a cousin because of what because of sometimes because we ignored them we gave the chance for the shaitan to spoil them because we did not follow the sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi we spoke about this he said mur auladakum bisalah wa hum abna sab wa dribum alayhum abna ashr wa farriqu baynahum fil madaja tell your children to pray when they are Seven years old. Beat them if they are ten. ten. Yeah, and if they don't pray. Then he said, And you should separate them. Fil Madaja, the bed. So if you have a boy and the girl, they are more than ten years old. It is very dangerous. It is risky. You keep them together. Okay? Or sometimes you are working or sleeping. And they are watching the movies at night. There is no school and we are sleeping. I am tired. Astaghfirullah <laughs> No, you should be careful, Allah. Protect your children. Don't trust them. Because the shaitan is there. 
This is wallahi, the desire, this is something dangerous. You need to control that by the religion and I, I mean by the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also the rules. Don't leave them only with the rules, sorry, with their, uh, their, their taqwa. Okay, there is a common statement, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَزَعْ بِالسُّلْطَانِ مَا لَا يَزَعْ بِالْقُرْآنِ Allah stops people sometimes with the rules, not with the Qur'an. Which means not with the faith. And this is subhanAllah sharia. Okay, what, what do you have in the sharia? We have punishments. If you do this, this 100 lashes, 80 lashes, 40 lashes, okay, stoning, صح? we cut the hand. Why we have these rules? Because Allah knows that as a human being, we need the piety, the taqwa, the fear of Allah, and also we need the punishment. You need the punishment. Imagine in the school you tell the students, fear Allah, don't cheat. Okay? Yalla. Start the exam and you leave the class. You leave the students alone. Okay? You do that? Okay? Do that, خلاص, leave them. Leave them, خلاص, you tell them this is forbidden. This is enough. It's not enough. Okay, you put maybe two teachers and the camera and, and different exam papers, صح? Exam A, exam B, this line A, this line B, صح? Or my, 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 my son told me, they mix the, the students, so not girls, I, I mean the boys, grade 10, grade 11, grade 12. In one classroom. So they do many things. Why? To stop the haram. So you, it is not enough for people, I mean, to, to, to rule people or yeah, and to control people. It is not enough to tell them fear of Allah. Fear of Allah, no doubt. This is the main thing. But also we need the rules. Taman? Ten years. Ten years. طيب this is risky this is risky we should just, we should avoid as much as we can the opposite gender okay a male teacher for girls or female teacher for boys try your best to avoid that try your best to avoid that Okay, maybe a female teacher for boys six years old, this is okay. They are kids. Six years old, seven years old. Yeah, and let's say up to grade two. The age maybe seven. Okay, but you know, at the age of nine, no, yeah, you know, at the age nine, the boys can recognize. Okay, maybe they chat among them, well, this is a beautiful teacher. They know. What's the meaning of beautiful? And okay, she puts makeup, her perfume. They recognize. So we should avoid. As Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, a child, but they they don't know what is the meaning of aura. What is the, this is aura or not? She's beautiful. The the the, the breast, the the waist, and these things. Okay. So try your best to avoid that. Okay, and you, you know, yani, wallahi, this is the problem. Yani, now in, the, in university, no, this is okay. She's a doctor. Okay, well, yani, even she, if she is a doctor or he is a doctor. Why we keep that? For, for, we do that. Tayyib, no education. <laughs> so what? Yani? What does it mean that if we are studying? It means that we don't have a desire? This is wrong. The shaitan is there. The shaitan is with the doctor, with the policeman, with the soldier, with everyone. The shaitan. Okay? So don't think that the shaitan will be outside, outside the university. The shaitan is also with us in the masjid. He is with us in the masjid. Yes, he will leave at the time of Adan, at the time of Iqama. But after that, he will come inside. So don't think that the shaitan is not with, with, the, with our children in the university. I know, 
Yeah, you know, this, you know, this is another issue. This is another issue. Huh? Of course, you know, there are many problems, not only India, and India and Europe, okay, also here in Kuwait. Uh, one of the important things is that the Muslim brothers who are practicing, they should work hard to create a, a, an Islamic environment. The problem is that many Muslims don't care. Khalas, main thing is my children. I don't care about the others. Okay, it is only four years, let them finish, then alhamdulillah. Okay, but we should care, we should do something systemic. Where are our lawyers? Where are the Muslim lawyers? Are they working for Islam? Okay? Yani, they should work for Islam. Not everything to gain money. Do something fi sabilillah. So this is very, very important. Now we should do our job. We should try our best. If there is a chance to make a school with our rules, I mean the Muslim rules, let's do, do it this legally. I know difficult, but let's try. Maybe it is impossible now, but after one year, two years, three years. Let's work hard. Let's work as a systemic, in a systemic way. Okay, yani, you know, sometimes the brothers ask me, Sheikh, well, I want khalas, to leave, to get a Canadian passport, Australian passport, European passport. Okay? Yani, I, I cannot decide for you. I cannot decide for you. Yes, you live in a non-Muslim country and you are thinking to migrate to also another non-Muslim country. But you think that the evil there will be less. At least you have kind of freedom. And my advice for this kind of people, the, the brothers and sisters, try to have a, like a meeting or to check with the others. What is the best way for you? Don't think only about yourself. Think about the other brothers and sisters. If you can't travel, what about the others? Khalas, let them يعني, struggle in their country and suffer their country. Think about the Muslim Ummah. How can we help each other? Maybe there is a way. Okay, in the same country or you go to another country. يعني, I mean, think about the Muslims. You know, everywhere Muslims are traveling. يعني, I remember one sister said, here she was working in a company. They don't allow the hijab. Here in Kuwait, مشكلة. مشكلة. In, in Kuwait, uh, Indian school, they are asking the boys of 12th standard to shave and come. I know, مشكلة. مشكلة. Maybe also in British school, the beard is not allowed. Okay, and I remember one, one of the brothers, okay, he said, uh, when I apply here in Kuwait, in one school, they said, but please, you shave your head, your, your, your beard. Shave your beard. Okay, what is, what is your point with my beard? I'm here to teach the students. Khalas. Okay, so also the, we have, uh, yani in some places, because, but the problem, you know, uh, the brothers are not complaining. They are not conveying the message. Because, you know, sometimes the owner doesn't know. For sure, the owner is Kuwaiti. For sure. Okay? Sometimes the owner doesn't know. So please try to convey the message to the owner. You are Muslim, you are Kuwaiti, in a Muslim country, alhamdulillah. Why you force me to shave? Maybe he knows. And maybe he doesn't know. Okay? So try, try to convey the message. Try to tell. Don't tie, you know, sometimes a problem. Yani, you know, people don't like. Don't like to speak. Yani, I remember one of the sisters told me she, she did the operation, minor operation, in the hospital, in Ibn Sina hospital. So, uh, it was in the hand. There was a swelling, so the doctor removed the swelling. She was niqabi. So he pulled the niqab from this lady. See, okay. you know, I cannot go there to say, to say why. Because she should speak. She should complain. This doctor who, who pulled the hijab, who removed the, the niqab from this woman. So, so we need the people who are involved in the problem to speak if it is not yani, yani, you know I know so, sometimes it is difficult for them harmful okay but you should do something why because this man is, maybe he's repeating the same problem yes. okay I, I will uh, mention only one, one point maybe I mentioned this last week but to repeat this again because it is very important related to the Aqeedah. The Prophet mentioned the hadith 
لا يزني الزاني لا يزني العبد حين يزني وهو مؤمن اوكي the one who is doing zina adultery he is not doing adultery while he is a believer another narration another hadith the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said اذا زنى الرجل خرج منه الايمان فكان عليه كالضلة فاذا انقلع من عليها رجع اليه الايمان when the man, when the man does adultery the faith will get out from him and he, the faith will be like a shade like like, like a cloud above him فاذا انقلع when the man stops the adultery the faith will comes down will comes inside him طيب uh, of course, the hadith, the khawarij uses use the, this hadith that the one who does adultery is kafir. But of course, it's not this not true. The the faith of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah that those who do the adultery are Muslims. But no doubt, during doing the sin, the faith is very weak. So please don't understand from the hadith that if someone dies during the mistake during the adultery he is kafir no but he is he is a very weak muslim he is a very weak muslim طيب ابو الحسن الاشعري رحمه الله said okay ابو الحسن الاشعري he was not اهل السنه والجماعه but at the end of his life he came back to the manhaj of manhaj of sunnah al jamaa and he said i am following the madhab of imam ahmed hanbal but unfortunately he has followers following his his old way he said anyone does the major sin like adultery thifting and like like that مستحل لها غير معتقد بتحريمها believing this is halal then he is kafir okay so if you believe that adultery is lawful is allowed then you are kafir but if you believe this is haram, but I am doing this because of the desire, then this is a major sin. Okay? And also Al-Baghawi rahimullah said from the Shafi'i scholars, اتفق أهل السنة أهل السنة agreed open that the believer will not be a non-Muslim if he does any of the major sins. Unless he believes it is halal. If you believe drinking wine is halal, then you are kafir. If you believe that stealing is halal, then you are kafir. But if you believe these things are major sins, not allowed, but you are doing this because of what? Allah, because of a desire, because I love this, because yes, nafs, then this is major sin. Major sin. May Allah protect us from all the sins, major, minor. Zakumullah khiran, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad. What's your question, Salman?